Hey, girly. Hey. I'm having a nap. Go away. Okay, fine. If that's how you feel then. Three, two, one. Ow! <laughs> hey, lovely people. You know, I'm really vibing like the period topics right now. So I thought I'd bring you all another period video. Yay! Here are some tips and tricks that help me get through my period. Okay, so I really like to have undies that are my designated period undies. And for me, I like to have them black because then if the blood leaks through, you can't see it, you know, you haven't ruined a pair of undies. And I like to also make sure they're nice and like tight because there's nothing worse than like a saggy pair of undies and then a saggy pad. It's just not for me. I don't know if other people do this or just me. I actually like to wear two undies at the same time because then I just feel really like, like nothing's moving. We're all just, it's all just like staying in. When you have your period at school or think you might get your period at school, I think it's always best to keep a spare pair of undies in your bag and have a little bag like this. In a little bag like this, you can keep everything you need, pads, tampons, panty liners, medication, and it's just really thin and black is good because like it can stay like kind of discreet in your bag. And then you're always like ready to go if you get into an emergency. And if you do forget your little emergency bag or your period comes as a big surprise, like don't be afraid to lean on your friends or your teachers and like ask if they have any supplies. I'm sure they will be like so supportive and give you the stuff you need. To help get rid of period pain, I love my little heat pack. It's just got wheat in it, I'm pretty sure. And I just put it in the microwave for one to two minutes with a, like a microwavable cup of just a little bit of water. Heat it up and just put it on. This just feels like so good and even the weight of it is just like so comforting. I'm sure you could even take one of these to school and heat it up if you have microwaves in the canteen. What I also find really helps is as soon as you start to feel period pain, take ibuprofen or paracetamol because I feel like it just gets onto it really quickly rather than being like, oh no, it'll be right. And then it gets really bad and then you take the medicine and then it takes ages to kick in. So I feel like if you start to feel it coming on, take those painkillers and kill it early. When you're on your period, go easy on yourself. Give yourself a break. Have a relaxing bath. Eat chocolate. Eat ice cream. Light a candle. Take naps. Just like... Just treat yourself with love and kindness and know it's okay to be feeling crazy and up and down and crying one minute and it's okay. It is okay. Another thing that I think is super helpful is using period tracker apps. The one I like to use is called Flow. I'll put its little symbol here. For me, having an app like this just really helps me have peace of mind and takes out the guessing game of when your period is going to come. Because when I don't have a tracking app, I'm like... I'm like, oh, it's been about four weeks and then I literally have no idea when it's come and then one day it's just like, boom, I'm here, girl, I'm here. And I'm like, Whoa! In the app flow, you pretty much log your period every month, you log your symptoms and you log how long your period went for. And then over time, it builds up the amount of days you have between each period and then kind of creates an average. And then it can estimate when your period is due to arrive. It also tells you when you are ovulating. And every day you have your period as well, you can log how heavy your flow was, how much sleep you got, how much water you drank if you want to, what symptoms you had, did you have cramps, did you have back pain, did you have headaches? And that just kind of builds up over time and it's a really helpful resource to look back on. I love the app flow because it also has heaps of different resources on there, lots of different articles to do with periods, being a woman, there's like forums, you can fill out questionnaires, so much. That brings me to the end of this video. Once again, I hope this information has been really helpful and I hope you're all doing okay and staying safe in these crazy times. Okay, bye.